When you look at the list comparing the features of Cricut Design Space across desktop, iOS, and Android, desktop has long been the clear winner. But iOS is catching up quickly and might become the preference for many. This video is about the updates to version 5.10.0 and 5.11.0. My name is Ruth. This is Hanks, Maker Mentor. To see what the new features are, you can look in the App Store description or in the app itself. The order they are listed in the app might cause you to glance at it and close it without realizing the treasures that are included. The What's New section of the App Store gives you the information you're most likely to be interested in first, and that's the order we're going to use. So what are these valuable features? 5.10.0 includes curved text, background remover, and text wrap. The other ones listed in the app are print and cut on A4 and making insert cards on all the machines. 5.11.0 lists only more shapes, but I noticed a big home screen change as well. If you're thinking to yourself, I remember that Cricut already had curved text and an automatic background remover. Why is this such a big deal? The answer is that those features were only available on the desktop version of Design Space. I tried multiple times to use my iPad to send a project to my Cricut, but I got an error message because I had designed the project on my computer and it had curved text. So it wouldn't let me use my iPad even to make it, but that should no longer be an issue. Curving text on iOS is now quick and easy. You type in the text you want to curve. It does need to be on a single line. If you want to curve more than one line, you'll need to go into Actions, Advanced, Ungroup to Lines, then work with each line individually, but I'll show you how to make sure the angle of your curves match. When you're adjusting the curve of your text, you can use the slider or there's this little box with a number that you can type in. Zero is no curve, with 100 and negative 100 being maximum curve levels. Here I set Hanks as 30 originally, left Maker at 0, and I was going to set Mentor as negative 30, but I wasn't happy with it, so I set it at negative 20 and changed Hanks to match. One quick tip, keep in mind where your cursor is while you're typing in the curve you want. You can type in the number for the curve to have them match, or type in the negative number so they're opposite. This won't work perfectly because of the variations in letter shapes and word lengths, but it's a great place to start. Mine was having trouble with aligning and distributing the curved text, but the curved text itself was great. Automatic background remover was introduced to desktop at the beginning of October 2021. Now they've introduced it to iOS. The iOS release also includes the two new features they added to desktop last month, the restore brush and editing and cut preview. It has a few unique things to keep in mind, so let's walk through uploading this image. I tried the automatic background remover, but you can see it wasn't effective on this specific image. When you click automatic here at the bottom, you have the option to revert it to the original image. It is only available to Cricut Access subscribers, like on the desktop version. If you're not a current Cricut Access subscriber, this is what the screen will look like. You can preview how the design will look using the automatic background remover, and you have a button to subscribe. But even if you're not interested in using the automatic background remover or getting the Cricut Access membership, Cricut has improved the uploading portion of the software. You still have select, erase, and crop. They've added restore, which is great when a little too much is removed. Instead of preview being a small window, you now click on these three dots near the apply button. It opens a menu to view the design as the original or as a single color. Both are helpful depending on the image you're working with. Like on desktop, you can now edit in the single color view, also known as the cut preview, which I love. Depending on what you've done to the images, you'll also see Despeckle and Smooth. In January 2022, I released a video about uploading to iOS, and I talked about why I love them. They've made Smooth 
even better. Instead of just being a button that you tap until you're happy or need to reset it, Smooth now allows you to use these plus and minus buttons to choose how much smoother you want it in terms of pixels. If it gets too bulky, you can click on the minus button instead of resetting and starting from scratch. TextWrap is also fairly new to desktop and we have it in iOS as well. You select text and start typing. When you're ready, select outside the text box and then select the text box. These handles in the middle of the text box on the sides, top and bottom will allow you to change the set width or height of the text box. It also pops up this notification that text will now wrap. To switch to inline text, tap alignment. Alignment is found in the edit options. You can change the text to align left, right, and center, as well as at the top, center, or bottom of the text box. If you flip the toggle for wrap text, all of the text will go back to a single line of text. Print then cut on A4 doesn't change much since A4 paper is similar to 8.5 by 11. It does make it easier for Cricut users where A4 is the standard paper size. On iOS, you can open up the hamburger menu on the home page and then go to print and cut settings to change the default size paper. When you select insert cards, it automatically places it on the two by two card mat when working with the Explore and Maker family of machines. So how did the home screen change with version 5.11.0? Instead of having shortcuts to home, my projects and starting a new project at the top, they've now moved down to the bottom of the screen. Canvas is still at the top right. We now have recommended for you, similar to desktop. And last but not least is more shapes. When you're on the canvas and select shapes from the bottom panel, instead of about 10 shapes, you have this expanded list of shapes that you can quickly choose from. These first five rows are free with or without a Cricut Access subscription. These other rows are free with a current Cricut Access subscription or they can be purchased a la carte. I know on desktop, if you purchase them a la carte, they are not marked as purchased here. So you need to keep in mind which ones you can use without additional payments. If you don't want any of these shapes, at the very bottom, there's a shortcut to search for shapes in images. For more videos about design space and crafting, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. It's free for you and helps me as a creator. And if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified every time I release a new video. Thanks so much for watching. Hanks, Maker Mentor. And until next time, bye.